At this time, please stand to welcome the graduating class of 2021.
Good evening and welcome to the 109th commencement exercise of Wilson Area High School. Whether you're right here in the stadium watching the ceremony live, in our air-conditioned auditorium watching the live stream, or whether you're anywhere in the world watching us on the internet, I'm glad you joined us to celebrate the amazing and resilient class of 2021. Before we begin, I would like to remind everyone that graduation is a formal ceremony and we ask everyone in attendance to treat the event with appropriate respect and decorum. To begin this evening's ceremony, it is my pleasure to introduce to you the president of the class of 2021, who will introduce our senior class speakers. Ladies and gentlemen, senior class president, Brady Werkheiser. Thank you, Mr. Marticelli. And thank you to all of our wonderful teachers, faculty, and staff. Without all of your hard work and tireless dedication, none of this would be possible. I would also like to send well wishes to the class of 1971. In a normal year, we would have the honor to have them here with us. They have walked in our very same shoes, and they represent the long legacy of proud Wilson Area High School graduates. As well, I would like to welcome school board members, administrators, parents, and families to the graduation ceremony for the class of 2021. My name is Brady Werkheiser. To the class of 2021, I would like to humbly thank you for the honor to serve as your class president. I would like to congratulate you for, com for completing this milestone in our journey of life. This class is one of the most outgoing and resilient groups of people to have ever graduated from Wilson Area High School. To say the least, this year was quite a challenge for all. When all the chips were down, and they were, we held strong. We all have shown great determination to finish this school year. High school is said to be the best part of someone's life, filled with memories, great experiences, meeting new friends, experiencing new things, and more. Even though we went to school during the pandemic, we tried our hardest every day to make the best of it. The focus for this year's graduation comes from the brilliant inventor, Thomas Edison. While inventing the light bulb, it is reported that it took Edison over two years and 3,000 attempts before he was able to show the light to the world with a successful light bulb. He was criticized along the way while he experienced many setbacks. Ultimately succeeding, he once stated to his critics, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. I'm honored to be able to introduce tonight's graduation speakers. Chloe Park, valedictorian. Anish Kanduri, salutatorian. And Tyler Carlbon, our senior class speaker. Thank you for coming to our graduation. Good evening, friends, family, faculty, administration, school board members, and, of course, the class of 2021. I'm honored to be speaking in front of you tonight, and I would like to take this time to thank everyone in attendance for their contributions to both our school district and all of our graduating seniors. Special thanks to my parents, who had to listen to this speech dozens of times for the past few weeks. Our final year here at Wilson has certainly been challenging, both academically and socially. However, through hard work and perseverance, we overcame the obstacles, and now our four years are finally up. We're graduating. In fact, we didn't just get high school over with. We worked diligently to leave our mark here on the community at Wilson, and we excelled. As a member of the band and our school's debate team, I can wholeheartedly say that my past four years here have been far from disappointing. Playing in the 90 degree heat, for instance, while wearing thick band uniforms at Disney, anything but forgettable. I also can't help but reflect on how much I've grown as a public speaker since freshman year. I had almost thrown up reading my speech in front of three people on my first tryout for the debate team. And yet, here I am, standing in front of you, Definitely nervous, but I'm hanging in there. 
looking back on various moments, I now realize that hardships allow for stronger bonding and fonder memories. I'm sure that my fellow students have had similar experiences in reaching the same realization. Despite the uncertain circumstances this year, we had a successful prom and a graduation, as you can see. Our school board and administrators gave us the opportunity to continue participating in sports and all of our school's clubs made the necessary changes to accommodate our cyber students. Most importantly, COVID restrictions didn't stop us from making new, unforgettable memories and trying new things. I, for one, started working my first part-time job over the summer and tried out for district band for the first time. I also started painting with oil pastels and spending more time with my family. And I know that many of my fellow peers have done the same in trying out for new sports, joining new clubs, and picking up new hobbies. We clearly didn't let COVID stop or discourage us. We used the free time we had to fuel our passions and broaden our interests. I believe that this sort of optimism is what makes our class truly unique. To quote Thomas Edison, our greatest weakness lies in giving up. The most certain way to succeed is always to try just one more time. And we did, we succeeded. We didn't give up, we didn't lose our drive, and we continue to make our mark. And I am certain that this was only made possible by our unwavering positivity. When asked about his numerous unsuccessful attempts at designing various inventions, Edison once replied, I've not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. This was the attitude we donned when our junior year was cut short a year ago. This is how we approached our final year of high school and I have no doubt that we will continue to maintain this optimism as we leave Wilson and begin to forge our own paths into the future, whether it be pursuing a college degree, entering the workforce, serving our nation, or attending trade school. Just as, we, just as we've overcome this difficult year, I know that we will do the same in pursuing our dreams and passions after high school. One last word of thanks to my fellow graduates. Thank you for making my time here at Wilson memorable. Finally, thank you to everyone in attendance for your attention. Graduates, family members, school board, and administration. It is an honor to be a part of this celebration, the graduation ceremony at Wilson Area High School of the class of 2021. First, I would like to thank everyone who supported the graduates on their journey from their family members to teachers and administration. Today, we have become Wilson graduates. The home of the warriors is now also the home of tomorrow's teachers, lawyers, doctors, musicians, and engineers, among many other professions and futures. No matter how many challenges we have faced, what is important now is that we are all here tonight to celebrate our triumphs, our achievements, our victories, both individually and as a school, and finally, our graduation. Graduation marks the end of yet another extraordinary chapter in our lives. With this chapter closed, I know that many of us graduates are already anxious about starting the next one. However, given how we excelled in such a difficult year with a different environment, I am certain that every graduate has bright years ahead. In fact, I believe that our class is more capable than they think. As Thomas Edison puts it, quote, if we did all the things we are capable of, we would literally astound ourselves, end quote. Thomas Edison was a famous inventor who created the modern light bulb. He also possessed an astounding 1,093 patents in a variety of fields, including electric light and power, telephony and telegraphy, and sound recording. Like Edison, our class will go on to do great things in the future as a result of their time at Wilson Area School District. I still remember when us graduates were freshmen at our orientation when we, when we were anxious about how our ice high school experience would turn out to be. However, we persevered through Mr. Stewart's chemistry class, among others, to graduate today. This school year, especially, 
was unique, with the majority of students learning remotely, or at least partially remotely. We had to adapt to a completely new platform of teaching, never before seen in our other years of grade school. We met this challenge head on by never letting go of our dreams of graduating. We continued to be motivated, even through many restrictions and events being canceled due to COVID. This drive both carried the graduating class far and helped us change the world for the better. As we continue through this new period in our lives, some call being an adult, I call the end of freeloading, we will make mistakes. We will choose the wrong major and have to pay thousands extra in student loans, but we will learn to be more frugal. We will miss deadlines and be late, but this will help us grow and change. Our mistakes will be outshined by our successes, of which will be innumerable. No matter what path you choose to follow as you move into the future, have hope as you will be the best possible person you can be. And I know that you, the class of 2021, are the best group of people that, have, that I have gotten to know over these four exciting years. I have full confidence that every person sitting here today is proud of you and knows the potential you possess. So now, as I wrap up my speech, I want you to look at your parents and family around you and thank them for the sacrifices they have made for you to be here. High school may be over, but our futures are just beginning. Wilson area truly has been a school where we enter to learn and will go forth to serve. Thank you for your attention. Good evening. I would like to start off this speech by thanking you all for attending the class of 2021 graduation. I would like to thank teachers, school board members, administrators, and faculty for making Wilson one of the best public schools in the Lehigh Valley. But last, and certainly not least, thank you to our families for making our lives so great and help making sure we are up and ready in the morning and we come home to food on our spoon. Now, into the real part of my speech. I know we didn't get a cool year to graduate too. 21. I wish we got something cool, like 85 or 76, but no, we got 21. So to jazz it up a little bit, I came up with some ways that make it sound cooler. So we can be called the class of square root of 441, or we can be called the class of 9 plus 10. That's the internet joke the kids in front of me will understand. But last, and certainly not least, we can be called the class of Josh Palmer's physics grade. High school was the highlight of our lives, I guess you could say. Not just for us, but for you too. A wise philosopher by the name of Eminem once wrote a song called Lose Yourself. If you don't know this song, then you're not truly caught up to date in my eyes. But anywho, I feel like the song perfectly describes going to Wilson, and here's why. The first verse of the song, he says, yo, his palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on his sweater already, mom's spaghetti. I feel like this line describes freshman year for a lot of us, me personally. The first week of high school, some of us were super nervous. I spent the first week in the bathroom every morning because of how nervous I was. The reason why I was so nervous was because you're coming from a school where you know everybody, all the teachers, all the kids, etc. But now you are nothing. You are the little fish in the pond and you know none of the teachers and barely know some of the kids. The spaghetti part only really affected me personally because my mom went on the keto diet, which meant no more spaghetti dinners. But anyways, these nervous times all changed, and Wilson truly did turn into a home for us, and we started working as a team and as a family. The next verse of the song is, you better lose yourself in the music, the moment you own it, you better never let it go. You only get one shot, do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. And this is the perfect transition into sophomore year. I feel like this verse perfectly explains how you're only in high school once, and you saw how cool the older kids were that left for college, and now it's your turn to leave your footprint. So, what we did was we all started discovering what we were passionate about and started putting our time towards it. Mine was pursuing multimedia, Chloe's was to become valedictorian, Derek's was to become TikTok famous, and others were to be Fortnite gods. We started pushing and pursuing these goals, no matter what they were. We also started making memories along the way that will last a lifetime. For example, I would like to share one with you. It was a normal day in eighth grade, and we were having a normal lunch in the cafeteria. Everybody is enjoying their lunch quietly and peacefully, 
when out of nowhere we see smoke coming from the corner of the cafeteria. Turns out, somebody snapped their phone in half and punched the battery. Well, being in the class of 21, we took this opportunity to go down to the nurse's office and say, the smoke hurt our eyes. And half the class got sent home. We may not have been the smartest class to go through Wilson, but we sure weren't dumb. Back to the song now. So the next thing you know, junior year is rolling around the corner. The line of the song that fits this year is, I'm a snail. I've got to formulate a plot before I end up in jail or caught. Success is my only option, and failure is not. This, is, this year is when reality kicks in, and college is right around the corner, and you have to get your head out of your butt and start trying a little bit more. Don't get me wrong, you can still have some fun, you just have to start focusing a bit more. But then, the world shuts down. Not gonna lie, this worldwide pandemic did throw us off track a little. I would say it threw us a curveball, but there are no sports at the time, so I can't. This tragedy didn't stop the class of 2021. We all kept striving for greatness this year, no matter what it was to succeed. Lastly, senior year rolls around. This was a rough year considering we didn't see half of our class and we didn't get to do some of the things other classes got to do. Anyway, we put this unusual year behind us. There's no better verse from this song to describe senior year than you can do anything you set your mind to, man. This 10 word sentence is a sentence we should all have in our head. You really can do anything you set your mind to. I wanted to be class speaker since eighth grade after I heard Brian Huber's speech. And here I am, I put my mind to it, and I'm standing before all of you fulfilling a bucket list dream of mine. I tried to make this speech to show that the class of 2001 will make change in this world if they put their mind to it. Of course, some things are never gonna change, like only being able to go to the bathroom once a marking period, Miss Tarsi giving you a quiz nearly every single day, and of course, Maddie McLean still will be pumping diesel into her Hondas. A wise man by the name of Thomas Edison once said, I have not failed. I have just found 10,000 ways that won't work. I haven't failed either. I just found 10 ways on how not to get a girlfriend. <laughs> on a serious note, I personally believe that the class of 21 will make change in this world somehow or another. Literally nothing can stop this class. We've been through swine flu, Ebola, COVID, etc. We face it all. And just like Edison, it goes to show that we are so focused and driven to accomplish anything. If someone goes into the workforce, college, trade school, or military, I can put my life on it that that girl or boy will work at their craft at 110%, day and night, seven days a week, to make sure that what they are doing is perfected. I'd once again like to thank you all for attending our graduation. And to the class of 2021, this is just us closing one book and opening another in our lives. I'm, blessed to, I'm truly blessed to be a warrior for life, and Wilson will always be a home. Well, this is the end of my speech, and there's no better way to, mark, to end a speech than marking the famous words of the late Kobe Bryant. Mamba out. Thank you, Wilson. To officially dedicate the 2021 edition of our yearbook, Les Memoirs, with this year's theme, Beyond the Stars, is next year's Editor-in-Chief, Michaela Smith. Mr. Kruk is an inspiration for students and teachers alike. Even in the face of a pandemic, he continues to be an incredible teacher and hardworking member of the Wilson Area High School staff. He does whatever he can to make his class interesting and enjoyable and it's clear that he'll do whatever it takes to help every student to do their best and be successful. It's obvious to students, even those that have never had him as a teacher, that Mr. Kruk is a passionate, dedicated, positive teacher and influence on the school community. He does everything he can to help the school, even stepping in and taking over our Warrior News when there was no one to run it. Thank you, Mr. Kruk, for everything you've done and continue to do for Wilson Area High School. While most of the scholarships and awards that we offer were distributed last week at our awards ceremony, we do reserve a small number of awards to be presented here at graduation. Here to present our first award, representing the Wilson Area Education Association, is our high school math department chairperson and teacher, Mrs. Beth Ann Torsi.
Good evening. Each year, the Wilson Area Education Association awards two $1,000 cash scholarships to graduating seniors who have chosen to pursue careers in the field of education. This year's recipients are Ella Folk and Zoe Maldonado. The next award is the Wilson Borough Police Association Scholarship. Here to present this scholarship is Officer Bud Shaw. Good evening and congratulations. In the words of the great Thomas Edison, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> One of the more pleasant tasks which I have the honor of performing each year is to present the Wilson Borough Police Association Scholarship Award in the amount of $1,000 to a member of the graduating class who has indicated that he or she intends to pursue a degree in criminal justice or a related field. The recipient is selected based on scholastic standing, extracurricular activities, and need. It is with great pleasure that I announce this year's recipient, Haley Massey. Our next award is the Wilson Area Partners in Education Association Scholarship. Here to present this scholarship is the President of the Foundation, Mr. Stephen Patterson. Thank you, Mr. Marticelli. For those who might not be aware, the Wilson Area Partnership in Education Foundation was one of the first foundations for the public schools here in the Lehigh Valley. A lot of credit goes to Mr. Wagner and also the entire administration here from the Wilson School District who founded this foundation back in 2007 when the people in front of me were just entering kindergarten. So it's amazing that we started this foundation to help enhance the student education and you started in kindergarten. Now here you are before us about to be high school graduates. The principles of the foundation include student first. The student always comes first. And we're proud as we raise money, and we're always looking to raise money for everybody else in the audience, to help support scholarships and grants for teachers to enhance the learning in the classroom for the Wilson students. This year, we normally give out one scholarship, but with our uniqueness this year, we're actually going to be giving out two. The foundation aligns absolutely with the school district here at Wilson. As Anish said, you enter to learn, and you go forth to serve. So I'm happy to announce the two scholarship winners, Alyssa Cayati and Rodrigo Mirablanco Garcia. The next award is the Women's Board of Easton Hospital Scholarship. This scholarship is being awarded to two students from the graduating class who exemplify academic skills and plan to further their education in the field of medicine and or nursing. There are two award winners this year, each receiving a $2,500 scholarship, and this year's winners are Chloe Park and Jacqueline Cardona. The next award is the Williams Person Scholarship. This inaugural scholarship is being offered to a student planning to pursue a career in the field of nursing. It is awarded with special appreciation to the Wilson Borough Lions Club, and this year's recipient of the $4,000 scholarship is Jacqueline Cardona. Congratulations. 
The next award is the Captain Christopher Scott Seifert Memorial Award. It is presented to a student in the top 25% of the class that also contributes to the community, provides school service, and possesses leadership qualities. The award winner receives a $4,000 scholarship, and this year's winner is Brielle Byerly. The next award is the William P. Sarah U. Tollinger Memorial Scholarship. It is given to a student who entered Wilson Area High School to learn, demonstrated academic success, and by contributing to the school and the community activities, displayed the qualities which indicate that they will go forth to serve. The award winner receives a $2,500 scholarship, and this year the winner is Annalisa Schout. On the front of our high school, our motto is listed and it begins with, enter to learn. Our final award this evening goes to two students who did just that for 720 consecutive school days. It is our perfect attendance throughout high school award. They never missed a day of school in four years, including this year with hybrid days, cyber days, and Zoom lessons. This year's recipients of our perfect attendance award, Emma Johnson and Kyle Engler. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce to you the Superintendent of Schools for the Wilson Area School District, Mr. Doug Wagner. You know, one of the things that I arrived today with is the clothes that I wear every day because I did not expect to have graduation tonight. But you knew, knew who had the faith to make the call so that you could have tonight? and it could be special for you, is Mr. Marticelli. So let's give him a round of applause. Great call. Thank you again, Mr. Marticelli. Good evening. On behalf of our district, we want to extend a warm welcome to the parents and families that are here with us tonight. I am very honored to share this evening with you. As a parent myself, I can appreciate the feeling of enormous pride you are experiencing tonight. The endless love and care you have provided to your children has paid off. This evening, we celebrate the young adults that you raised as they start on their path to accomplish great things. Congratulations to all of you. You did a wonderful job and we are grateful you shared your most precious gifts, your children, with us. I want to take a moment to thank Mr. Marticelli, our faculty, and staff for their efforts this past year. This year, more than any other year, I am so very proud of what they have done for our students and families. When the world closed due to the COVID-19 pandemic, our staff made the choice to continue moving forward to support our students and establish a new normal. While this year was extremely difficult, it was also very inspiring. So once again, I want to thank each of them from the bottom of my heart for making sure our seniors, especially our seniors, on success this past school year. So thank you, staff. <laughs> Members of the class of 2021, you made it. A pandemic could not stop you. The weather could not stop you. Congratulations to every one of you. If 
but I have to say I am so sorry. Unfortunately, these are the same words I said last year to the class of 2020, and I did not want to repeat them this year. I really hope that things would have been better for you, for all of you. I definitely would not have chosen the type of year, this type of year, for your final year in our school district. I had hoped conditions would improve as the, as the year went on and you would have been able to have an experience, an experience of a traditional senior year. However, as you all know, that was not the case. I know the hybrid year was not easy and certainly do not expect you to put a positive spin on everything that occurred this year. So all I can say again is how sorry I am. However, I am standing here tonight filled with pride. I am extremely proud of each and every member of this class. You inspire me with your resilience and your ability to find your path to move forward despite the challenges that were presented to you. You learned so much, so many important life lessons, both inside and outside the classroom these the past 13 months. As a result, I am so confident you are prepared for any other challenges you may face as you enter the next phase of your lives. So when life returns back to normal, Make sure to continue on your path forward using what you have learned as a foundation for your success and continue to help the world better than it was pre-pandemic. Once again, congratulations, class of 2021. Members of the Wilson Area Board of Education, the members of the class of 2021 that are before you tonight have met the graduation requirements of our school district and the Pennsylvania Department of Education. They are presented to you so that they may receive their diplomas. Good luck and best wishes, class of 2021. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce to you each member of the graduating class of 2021. While a little bit of applause for each student is certainly appropriate, please hold the majority of your applause until all class members' names have been announced. Brady Werkheiser. Chloe Park. Anish Kandori. Tyler Carlbon. Brielle Byerly. Alyssa Kayati. Jacqueline Cardona. Malia Bennett. Kyle Bratkovics. Tayana Bird. Ahmed Karkora. Tyler Kaza.
Aiden Dufall. Ella Folk. Emma Johnson. Kyle Engler. Zoe Maldonado. Haley Massey. Rodrigo Marablanca Garcia. Annalisa Schout. Marcus Green. Faith Johnson. Skyler Johnson. Danny Kennedy. Luke Miller. Matthew Mueller. Maria Abraziz. Numer Allen. Liliano Alvarez. Kaylee Arsenault. Tyler Batdorf. Emily Belke. Samantha Bernards. Dylan Betts. Cassandra Beicher. Connor Bame. Fatima Bori. Chelsea Bracken. Zoe Bronson. Ronald Brunstetter. Steven Brunstetter. Jeffrey Buscemi, Jr. Alexia Calderon Mendez. Cassandra Calero. Jefferson Cano Menesis.
Jane Carson. Jasmine Castro Feliciano. Marina Caza. Akasha Clark. Isaiah Close. Jada Cooper. Owen Corson. <laughs> Danasia Crawley. Sydney Crivellero. Jasmine Diaz. Haley Dietrich. Felicia Drapal. Sebastian Duca. Raven Dukes. Soraya Dunn. Jesse Dutt. Sharice Edrington Holmes. Kip Eamon. CJ Fazio. James Fitzgerald. Amadeus Frazier. Cooper Freeman. Juniper Furler. Gabrielle Gargone. Robert Gellock. Benjamin Gillen. Lauren Justino. Christian Godek Gray. Dylan Goldsworth. Philomena Gonzalez. Siobhan Grant. Jenea Grant. Michaela Grant.
Ethan Hawes. Guinevere Halloran. Kiana Hazard. Leonardo Heller. Kayla Hicks. Johnny Hilario. Austin Hoff. Scott Horton Jr. Elena Hauser. Christian Irigoyen. Haley Kiefer. Cameron King. Madison Class. Madison Kaler. Hannah Kraus. Lexus Kutz. Justin Lacey. Marissa Lee. Adriana Legia. Samantha Lay. Brendan Lima Valley. Cameron Lutz. Hope Maniri. Vincent Maraconda. Maximus Martinez. Alyssa Mattis. Madeline McLean. Danielle McMillan. Joshua Messick. Jacob Meddy. Nicholas Minnick. Ari Nolt. Madison O'Dowd. Jaden Overy. Sydney Polinkus. Elijah Palmer. Joshua Palmer.
Tess Patterson. Owen Pelinero. Scarlett Peralta. Allison Perkins. Shania Peterson. Lauren Pishak. Haley Pozar. Ethan Race. Isaiah Ramos. Kayvon Range. Devon Rebels. <laughs> Keegan Rice. Brianna Riffert. Eli Rogers. Keon Rogers. Mackenzie Rooks. Anthony Rossioli. Roger Russell. Luis Sagastumi Gonzalez. Alan Sally. Tanner Sant. Elio Sarkis. Jillian Sherman. Madison Smeltz. Gianna Smith. Catrell Staten. Autumn Sterling. Yolanda Sullivan. Zachary Sweeney. Tajay Turner. Jonathan Valencia. Michael Vite. Julia Wadley. Benjamin Walter. Jade Ware. Sarah Warren. Dion White. Alicia Wicks.
Ladies and gentlemen, it is not the end of our program at this time, but it is an excellent time to congratulate with a loud round of applause the Wilson Area High School graduating class of 2021. Every year, we call upon a junior soloist to honor the senior class. This year, our soloist will recognize the graduates with a song entitled, A Moment Like This. Our soloist will be accompanied on the keyboard by Miss Melissa Black, Wilson Area High School Choral Director. At this time, it is my pleasure to present junior soloist, Coda Barrett. Tell me that 
My pastor says there are two types of people in the world. Those that light up a room when they enter it, and those who make the room light up when they leave. One reason people may be in that second group is because they are complainers and usually focus on the negatives. I decided I am not going to do that in my address, and I can also tell you that this class certainly did not do that throughout the year, even though they had a lot that they could have complained about. There's no doubt that things didn't go exactly as we would have liked them to go this year. Students couldn't attend school every day. Spirit Week, superstars, assemblies, and club activities were all scaled back. We missed having pep rallies and the annual bonfire. Homecoming wasn't the same without a dance. Playoff games and football, wrestling, and tennis were all canceled. And that list can go on and on. Our class speaker spoke about the quote, I have not failed, I just found 10,000 ways that won't work. What a perfect quote for this year. That's exactly what happened all year. When something didn't work, we tried something else. We focused on the positives rather than complain about the negatives. And these students had many positives throughout their years in high school, including this year. And I would like to talk about some of them. I'll start with prom. We had one. Just three days ago, there was a time during the year when we didn't think it would happen, but it did. We were so happy to be able to provide this class with a prom because they deserved it. They looked amazing, they had a great time, and they truly appreciated the opportunity to get together with friends. We also found a way to keep our spirit week this year, and we even had an abridged hallway decorating contest, which the senior class won with their Clue Themes hallway, demonstrating once again that this class is resilient and positive. Even though we didn't have a musical this year, over 30 students in our drama club did everything they needed to do to create a live theater performance in a time when there was almost no live theater happening. We still held our Superstars events without a crowd, but still with the opportunity for kids and teachers to compete and have fun, and giving me the opportunity to once again beat them in the weightlifting competition. They did a great job keeping clubs alive and active this year and did some amazing things along the way, like raising $600 for the Special Olympics with our first annual Polar Pop. The Key Club met its $1,000 benchmark donation to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. They raised over $500 for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And the International Club packed shoeboxes filled with toys, hygiene products, and school supplies they collected for children living in poverty throughout the world. They never complained about what they couldn't do, they just made the most of what they could. Our music and art students found ways to keep their programs alive as well. Students asked for and found a way to hold our annual art show and they proudly displayed over 250 pieces of incredible artwork that our students and families could enjoy. And for the first time, I even got to keep one of those pieces of artwork because a senior gave it to me as a gift because she knows I enjoy fishing. Our chorus students created a concert where they could actually sit with their parents in the auditorium and enjoy watching and listening together, something that could never have been done before this year. Our band made adjustments. They held band camp and continued putting on outstanding performances and entered competitions virtually. We learned together all year and it made us better and stronger. We learned how much teachers and students really need each other. We learned how to bring our classrooms into everyone's home at a moment's notice. We learned not to take for granted simple things like a handshake, a hug, or a smile without a mask. We learned that one-way hallways, while annoying at times, did make students walk faster. We learned that students can sign out during study hall and still make it back on time for their next class. And everyone got to know our cafeteria staff a little better this year because they were trying every day to get students to take a free breakfast and they were delivering lunches right into the classrooms. As a group, this class did some amazing things. And as individuals, they are just as amazing. This class is made up of national merit finalists, ping pong ex experts, and gifted athletes. We have students going off to college to continue playing baseball, field hockey, track, and swimming. We have students that can excite a crowd by flipping from one side of the gym to the other, and others that are already playing semi-professional sports. We have students that were accepted to Princeton and Yale. Pretty impressive considering the acceptance rate to those universities was less than 4% this year. We had students that experienced some crazy field hockey events in their career and students so talented in broadcasting, they basically just filled in when we didn't have a teacher. We have students that as freshmen already began demonstrating leadership skills so impressive, we reached out to them to chair committees. We have students that persevered against the odds to graduate and students that are graduating in just three years. 
We have other students so determined to graduate that they stayed two hours a day extra in the fourth marking period so that they could sit on this field here tonight. This class is filled with students that can light up a room, and most of them when they enter it. From students that would never walk past me without a good morning, a hello, or a little inside joke, like when are we going on that trip, to students that matured from that not so enjoyable ninth grader, to a student that I enjoyed golfing with as a senior. Together, they form a resilient group that I am convinced will continue to do remarkable things. I am privileged to have known them, and I am proud of their many accomplishments. Thank you for joining us this evening to honor the class of 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, at the conclusion of the alma mater, you are invited to come down onto the field for pictures and join us in our celebration. At this time, please rise and join in the singing of the Wilson Area High School alma mater. That about does it. Feel free to come down onto the field for some pictures. <laughs> 